Oh, next Monday. Oh boy, what are we most excited about? You know what? I'm I'm so excited that Emily's directing. Oh my god! I think for for a season premiere episode to have Emily directing is like pretty to yeah. start with a bang. And it's kind of beautiful that it's the last season. So it's the perfect way to start the last season. Yes. I definitely mixed emotions. It's, I'm still kind of like getting used to the language last season. It's the last season. Because, you know, it's, we've been cresting for so long. It's interesting to sort of know it's official, but that said, it's kind of beautiful um, to be able to be present so that we can like love each other, laugh, bring as much passion um, and uh, and intention to what we're doing in this last round. It's nice to actually be given the warning and the heads up. Yeah, for my character, I think it, you know, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, Cam's getting married. That's going to be the big. That's going to be the big one. And I don't know what after that really. I think that's probably enough for my character. Yeah, I think for Aubrey just to get to officiate Cam's wedding. Really, <laughs> exactly. I think that's what I'd love to see. Exactly. For, for me, yeah. Man, I just I, I had always hoped someone would have a meth addiction of some kind. We didn't manage to work that in, so obviously it's a, that, that moment's coming on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, there's so many. It's, it's interesting because you, you sort of get lost in uh, for myself. I can go first because yeah, I don't have as many. To... I love it. I love it. Um, I've got a mind here. I think this, uh, a, a really memorable moment was the goodbye in Booth's office at the end of season 10, at the end of my first season, you know, saying goodbye to this guy who, you know, this character that I, you know, Aubrey had kind of gained his trust and come in after Sweet's death and, and um, you know, that, that goodbye at the end of season 10. When, you know, we shot it, we really didn't know if we were going to be back or not. So it was just kind of a really, really memorable booth, booth walking out with his bobblehead Bobby moment, you know, and walking out the door and us not knowing, you know, if we were going to see him again. Totally crazy. I forgot that. Yeah, we really didn't know at all. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it was probably, I don't know how many seasons ago this would be, um, two or three when uh, when Aristu got poisoned. Um, that was kind of a big, fun episode. Um, and it was just an interesting story for me, interesting to get to play with. Uh, Cam just being vulnerable, which doesn't happen very often. She has a very determined husband. Yes. So I think that should uh, help. Yeah, ninety percent of it yeah. will be boo. Um, and the other, I think the other, the other ten will be you know a combination of technology and Hodges. <laughs> always, always. Yeah, Hodges gets it done. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. As an actor, do you have like techniques that you use to keep the character pressed for you and like keep yourself challenged? Wow, that's a good question. You know, I, it, I don't know. Every actor works differently, but I, I tend to sort of be. Um, I tend to be inspired by the writing, you know, and 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 most most often we've lucked out and we just have really great writers that keep it fresh enough that we have new you know new scenarios to jump into each and every episode and there's always a new challenge. Um, also, I think maybe because we dig each other so much, 
it's fun. I, I feel like I'm always on my toes because these guys are so good. It's like, okay, well, if I'm sleeping at the wheel, this one's going to show up and uh, and remind me. So, you know, I, I think it's just a nice combination of cast and writing. I don't know how much you know Chris Barr, how it's going to be in it. If you do, do you think the fans will be very satisfied with how it all played out? Because, I mean, the show has had such a huge passion of fans. Do you know how it's going to end? I don't think we know how it's going to end. Um, no, if I did, I wouldn't. I, I, I don't want to know. Just I don't want. I can't. We, I couldn't handle it. Yeah, exactly. We've we've been given a couple of hints, like two recurring oh, yeah. characters are going to die. Yeah. So we we've, we've been given a few hints. Um, a, a villain from the first season is coming back. Um, a villain from the first season is going to come back, like big, 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 bad, scary villain. So I, I, again, I kind of go back in, in in the Bones history and go, okay, well that could be a couple of those. So you know they've given us a few hints, but no idea how it's going to end. So, so two recurring characters are going to die, you say, right? Could be you. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah. we're regular. Thank you. Thank oh, you, you call it regular, regular? Yeah, okay, so I think it's, I okay. think it's going to... Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah I, I'm from France. I didn't... I yeah. I forgot yeah. the recurring regular. Okay, hey, okay. believe you me, when I read it, I was like, oh, wow. Is that the, yeah, okay, no. Okay, so everybody's safe on that part. Everybody's safe. Okay, yeah. Also, the theory that you were talking about the I don't think they're going to be the main part. Yeah, that was Yeah, yeah, can you imagine? We're just going to kill off the entire cast one by one. <laughs> Yeah, um, and uh, what else? I think the writers are also going to really do their best to bring back fan favorites. Mm. You yeah. know, like Stephen Fry, Betty White. Like we're, you know, um, they're, we're just going to hope that everyone's available to come play with us. This time next year, what do you think you'll do? Try for another TV series or take a break? Um, I'm just doing one episode of Bones at a time. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. kind of can't think. About I'm not about thinking that there. I'm not there. No. I'm, I'm really at just excited that you know when a show's been on this long and then we decide there's going to be twelve more. You know, yeah. that's it. There's yeah. twelve more. What are we going to do with these? I really just think going one at a time and making each one stand out. Yeah, just know? being present. Yeah, I really think I really it's going to be. be good. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any desires to be directing? Here's the irony. I love the notion of producing. Directing, yeah. not so much. Yeah. Directing, I, I feel like as an actor, I barely touch the tip of the iceberg. So I'm, I'm just barely learning how to act. So directing seems completely daunting to me. Yeah, watching David do the season finale, it was crazy to see. Just like stepping in front and then stepping behind and then being in front and then thinking about lenses and angles and matching and then be able to go right back to... You know, oh, yeah, what his character it. was doing. What the hell? I was like, nah, I think I'll. So, I'm, I'm good for now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. You guys already know that a couple recurring characters are going to die. How much information do you get from the writers ahead of time, like about the whole series or specifically your characters? Yeah, that's kind of all we got. We, we haven't done, um, usually there, and I don't know whether this is like part of the, the keeping it fresh thing, the writers don't, um, every now and then they'll talk to us about an arc, uh, you know, a character arc if they want to make sure that we're okay with it. Um, but usually we're just kind of as surprised as, <laughs> as you guys are when we get the script. So. Yeah, I really prefer to work that way anyway. Yeah. You know, I I know I mean TJ is good I think at like weaseling things out of the yeah, writers, he can. like his he can. Art, things like that, but I sort of love the experience of sitting down and being loud and reading it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what have you learned on a personal level uh, while uh, playing this character and uh, having this experience in going about yourself? Something that you didn't know maybe before uh, you know, going through that experience? Wow, that's a, that's a great question. Really great question. Thank you for asking a question like that. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, I guess, you know, before this, I hadn't, like, gotten, had the opportunity to do what I love every day, so I didn't know who I was, you know, in this realm, and, and I didn't really necessarily know what my process was, and I've, I've learned that, um, laughter is usually my way in, 
la laughter is usually my way, you know, in and out of either light scenes or even dark scenes. I, I like to laugh a lot. Of so that's what I like. Gosh, I think. Uh, I mean, just from playing this this kind of character for me, I, I think it's just really been about coming in every day, and no matter what's going on in the world or personally, I get to be this person and play with these actors. And that, that's just it's just been a gift. I, I, I mean, that's just really what I've learned is to see you know coming in with a cast like this who has really was so well formed I, I was got to work with people who already knew how to do that no matter what was happening in their life what was happening in an election whatever it was they turned it on and that's what I got to learn how to do really it's just like jump in well and you jumped in completely like character formed as like absolutely you, you jumped in like ready to play <laughs> this one came with his A game <laughs>